Welcome back, today, we're going to create an exciting platform game using visual coding. In this game, Pico must reach the apple by jumping on the tiles. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move Pico left, right, and up. Once Pico reaches the apple, you will proceed to the next level. Let's dive into the code and understand each step. You can begin this program in two ways. Firstly, templates are available in our digital content. You can access them from the slides by clicking on the provided link. This will redirect you here. Click download to get the SP3 file. Open CS Lab and click on the Visual Coding 3 IDE icon. Here, go to File Choose Load from your computer and select the downloaded file. This file already contains the necessary backdrop and sprites, so you can start coding right away. Secondly, you can create program from scratch. If you are using template then skip this. To start from scratch open Visual Coding 3 IDE from CS Lab. And follow the steps. Delete the default sprite. Click choose a sprite and search Pika Walking. And adjust the size of sprite by changing the value here. To add next sprite click on paint and select the square icon to draw a rectangle for the ground. Adjust its size to cover the width of the stage. You can customize the color using the fill option at the top. Name this sprite ground. Now let's add another sprite. Click on choose a sprite paint and draw two rectangles. This sprite act as a hanging platform for Pico to reach the apple. This sprite require two costumes, right click the costume and duplicate. Edit the duplicated costume to create costume 2. Name this sprite as Platform. Finally let's add Apple Sprite. Click Choose a Sprite Apple. Adjust its position accordingly. Adjust its size. Create two costumes for the apple with different positions. Align the positions of the apple costume 1 with platform costume 1. And the apple's costume 2 with platform's costume 2. Now let us add background to enrich the game. Click choose a backdrop and then select space. Add another backdrop, Arctic, for the next level. Make sure to designate the space backdrop for the stage. Let's begin the coding for Pico. To begin by clicking the flag icon, go to Events and select the when flag clicked. Now, we have two backdrops, but when we start the game we need to begin with space backdrop, so let's set it by choosing Looks Block, and then select Switch Backdrop to and select space. Then we wanted to set the initial position of Pico. For that let's navigate the motion block and choose go to X, Y. Here you can set the values of X amp, Y. To make the direction of Pico to right, we need to set the point in direction as 90. 
after that we have to ensure that the platform sprite is set in its initial costume, for that click platform sprite, and give the code to switch costume when flag clicked. Now we need to do the initial setup of Apple. Same like platform we have two costumes for Apple, so we need to set the costume when flag clicked. With that we have completed the initial setup of sprites. Stay tuned for the continuation.